This HAN Network video is brought to you by Carl Chevrolet. We welcome the volleyball team here on the HAN Network. I'm Rob Adams. Let's let them say hello to you. Hi, I'm Molly Fusarelli. Hi, I'm Meredith. And I'm Coach Giorgio. All right. Coach, I'll start with you. Um, what do you expect this year? And, you know, what are your hopes? As you, you obviously play off states, FCAC, all that. But even the individual things, smaller things that you're looking forward to. Well, we're looking forward to a great season this year. We have a, a lot of youth on our team. Um, two years ago when I took over, we qualified for states. Last year we did as well. So I think, you know, postseason is definitely uh, in sight. We're actually hoping this year to be a contender for the FCAC too as well and to uh, get a better record than we had last year. All right, Molly, for you, give me a highlight from last year. Um, I guess definitely making playing the game that made states was awesome, yeah. Who'd you play and, you know, kind of what made it so? I'm obviously making states, but was there kind of a highlight within that? Um, we played Wilton and... I don't know. I guess the energy was there because we know we only had like a couple more games that we could play that could actually get us into it. So once we made it, it was just relief and happiness and it was great. Meredith, how about uh, the experience in States once you got there? I know that was a highlight for you from what you were telling us and what made it so special? Well, last year was my second year in States and I was pumped just from the start. I think a lot of girls that just made it onto the team were extremely pumped because it had been many years before that um, we hadn't made it. So making it to States was like a huge um, <laughs> accomplishment. Thank you. All right, we got it. <laughs> now, Molly, um, there are various positions on, on a volleyball court. and. Look, I've played volleyball, but I played in the backyard. I played on a beach. You know, you do the whole okay. Everybody rotate the whole thing. But you're you're a setter. You're right side. Explain that to me. Um, well, the, a setter is, I guess, the equivalent of a quarterback on the football team. They are the ones who just like decide which plays to run and like which hitters to feed, so we can get the most points and make more accurate plays. And how about an outside hitter, Meredith? You know, I hear that terminology. I think football, or maybe I think baseball. What about in volleyball? Outside hitter is the go-to hitter, so it's a lot of pressure. But I love it. I just feel like I could just pound the ball so hard, and it's just that feeling, and I love it. Coach, what's make, what makes these two so special? What makes them captains? Their dedication to the team and to the, um, to the program. Meredith um, is a junior th this year as a captain. And in the off season, she uh, created programs for the kids to come over and get them involved. Uh, Molly joined us last year, and her commitment in the off season helping Meredith out earn her right to be captain. The girls voted her in, and it, they are, they're making it a program. It's uh, it's no longer a team. Our program is considered a family. They're great role models to the underclassmen, and uh, they they have great work ethic. Well, congratulations to both of you on being captains. And, you know, one thing I've gotten out of our trip to Brian McMahon High School is, yes, what you do on the field, on the court, in the pool is important, but what you do off is just as important, sportsmanship and involvement in the community. Being involved with underclassmen, the kids, it's such great stuff going on here. So we're grateful to the Senators. This is the volleyball team here on the HAN Network at Brian McMahon High School.